All right. Well, I did it. I managed to do it. Michaelinus. Michaelinus review. Gotta gotta do some shout outs here because I've had uh, lots of different fucking fast food shit. I've had Crave. Crave is really good, by the way. Uh, that cheese is fucking unreal. Like, whatever the fuck uh, the other guys are doing, the, the Chipotle uh, fast, like, uh, microwave meals, those are pretty good, too. It's just price, price-wise. Y'all just can't compete with this, this Michelini shit here from Walmart. I'm sorry. This shit's got that, like, weird fatness to it that's delicious. If you prefer something sweet, you can definitely go for the actual um, beefaroni from Walmart brand. That one almost tastes like sweet. It's weird to me. I don't know. This one I like because it's got like a savoriness to it. It's got like a like a fatness to it. Like, I don't know. It's just good for what it costs. So, bear with me while I'm out down on this. And likely, I don't know. Problem is, I still want to order food. <laughs> I'll skip the dishes. And that's how fucked up this is. And I acknowledge this. Mm. I think as I eat, though, maybe my brain will get the signals that it doesn't need them, you know? I'm hoping. Um, but I do have to give my brain that opportunity. You know? You gotta feed it. And I also have to recognize that My brain just simply wants things. Like, that's part of the issue with my brain is it it's constantly seeking stuff. I'm pretty sure I have, like, undiagnosed ADHD and whatnot, and that's a part of the issue with why I burn my energy so quick. Um... And it's also a problem, like, why when I do get low energy, I do detrimental things. Um, because I don't want to spend the time to actually take the effort to take care of myself. Hence why. Right? I'm wanting to order food. I think I oh, don't know. I think my brain is seeking some sort of nutrition right now. If I were to sit here and be honest about it, right? So And that's why I must want more food. Okay, so I accept that, fine. Um, I don't want to spend a lot more money on more food though. Spending $23 on Skip the Dishes just seems wrong. So, what I could do instead...
could attempt a compromise and go and walk and pick up a pizza. <laughs> um, but that's... Hmm. It seems really weak to me. One of the nice things is I don't think I've smoked any more marijuana. I don't think I need to. Um... Things we could do that would benefit me right now. Uh, let's clean up my room. So yeah, I mean, that's a thing. Typically, I don't go to bed in a really well light. And usually, my sleep hygiene is absolutely horrendous. So let's clean up the bedroom to a point where I don't have to feel bad about waking up seeing it. I think that'll be beneficial. <clears throat> right. So you guys can't see it, but over on this side kind of where I really live. Well, I mean, you can see the whole, the whole place where I live. But um, over here is where I got uh, my clothes, and by clothes I mean my outside gear, I'm usually hanging on this wall, on my plate. This is my cast iron pan that I've been seasoning and taking care of really well. Cooked eggs on it today, fucking pristine, let me tell you boys, um, and girls, and other denominations within that realm that you so choose to identify with. Woo! Look at me being inclusive. I know how to use words. Yay. Um, right. Instead of kicking my toque around, I should clean up the floor. Fuck, I forget what the fuck I was talking about. Close there. Cleaning up my space. Doing that right now. Making sure that that's not so blinding anymore. Probably important. That didn't really do much, did it? It's still... Still just as blinding, isn't it? Well... That's just how it is, I guess. So yeah. Cleaning up the floor. Um... As I should. Because if I'm gonna go... To bed. Man, I hate how I'm still fighting over this pizza thing. So stupid. It's like, dude, you don't need it. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's nice that I'm fighting over trying to eat a pizza rather than drinking more alcohol, which is usually what I do. So we could call that a win, but I don't know. Neat experiences around, I guess. Oh, nice thing. It's getting warmer, so I don't have to wear my long johns anymore. That's a nice experience. Wearing these fucking things is like being stuck in a freaking prison almost, man. Every movement's restricted, and I don't like feeling restricted. I like feeling loosey-goosey, you know? Like clothes that don't make me feel like I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> like parachute pants are dope, man. Shout out to my parachute pant gang. Like, you guys know what's up. The saying. Real as fuck. Restriction sucks. Like, who wants to wear clothes where if you want to, like, fucking do, like, a sick, like, oh, yeah! You gotta like fucking, you're restricted, like your pants get in the way. You're trying to do like sick karate moves. But you can't, because your freaking pants, they're not action pants with a gusset. You gotta get that gusset in there, you know? Shout out to uh, our Lord and Savior. Um, this is embarrassing. But Chuck Norris. Um, yeah. 
just gonna crawl into my hole now and pretend that I didn't fuck up that that bad, but I did, so whatever, you know. Oh This is this is clearly an example of uh of the finest that humanity has to offer. Um, any anything less would be just, just the scraping the bottom of the barrel of, of godhood, you know, just so we're aware. Uh, only a champion would be willing to deprecate themselves in this way here in payment. Uh, that was just, just, just so we could live on the same level, you know. Just didn't want to uh, appear as flawless as I am. That's that's why that happened. Let's get, let's pretend that that's not the case. Clearly, I am a fucking inferior human being, typically. So, <laughs> whatever. Uh. Right? Are we done cleaning? Um, I guess I could. You know what? No, I don't want to leave that pizza box there. It's so lame. Honestly, I don't like leaving. I guess you could potentially get another one. I really want more fucking pizza so bad. Oh, it's like it's ten dollars, but I, don't, I just don't spend it. I'll save it. I do have cremini mushrooms and eggs. Stuffed cremini mushrooms. But that's a lot of bacon. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Biggest thing is, because I'm no longer as drunk, a lot of the egos died down, so I don't feel like there's much to talk about now. Um, it's just a genuine, I guess, reflection of myself. Um, I worked out earlier, so I don't really feel any sort of need to do that, especially not right now. It would just be weird, heavy breathing. <laughs> Although, I mean, who doesn't want to see those gains, right? Let's get those gains, boys. Um, I need to fold my pants. Things look nicer when they're folded. I guess I'll do that. Oh, yeah. I gotta actually fucking throw those in the wash. I forgot about that. These pants got fucked up at work. <laughs> I had to move uh, the forklift um, forks and totally forgot that my pants were going to be laid victim to the grease that is the forklift forks. So, that happened. But again, that was not their fault. That was just... Oh. 
me being careless. So. The nice thing about tomorrow is I get to have bacon again. I don't really eat bacon a whole lot. There was a period where every weekend I was cooking it, but that was a period, clearly, not a norm. It was good, though. Good era, I would say. Um... clean those in the morning. I'd like to clean them now, but it just doesn't seem right. Mostly because like, I live with my mother and I'm sure she's going to bed too, so. Look at that. Mm. Do I have any yogurt? It just seems really late for me. I don't need to be up this late. I know that. So, I've got that going for me. I know that a lot of what this is is just me not being able to deal with going to bed, which is a strange problem that I have. Ooh. Oh, that's ghastly. That is ghastly right there. That is some, that is some grape flavored jizz. You know what, let's get down in there. Mmm. Oh yeah, who wouldn't let that go to waste? Mmm. But no, for real. I have a, um, a deep seated issue with sleep to the point where I'd do anything to postpone it you know I'd be willing to uh, order pizza and smoke a bunch of weed it's just dumb and I guess I gotta try and tackle that you know Probably smoke some more weed, but I guess at least I'm not spending thirty dollars on food for once. I'm going out and getting more beer, which I could have done. Hope to figure it out one day, man. One of the coolest things that I ever saw was just my father eventually was way worse than I ever was or am. But he quit. I don't think I ever was there to let him know that enough before he passed away, but. I think that's one of the coolest fucking things I've ever seen anybody do, so. I want to be cool like that. I'd love to say that I just don't drink anymore. For right now, though, all I can say is that I drink a little bit less sometimes. And I eat at home more, and I'm eating vegetables now, and <clears throat> I'm taking care of myself, I guess, you know? It's about the journey. It's not about the end goal. If you... Uh, hate the journey or try to rush it you'll lose yourself every time it's 
I'm trying to slow myself down a lot more. No. There is something very beautiful about being here and now when you can. And I mean that very truthfully. Being here and now is honestly all you ever have. To think in the future and to worry about it and to be concerned about your past is, is a lie to yourself on both fronts when you really sit there and honestly confront yourself with those ideas. What do you have more than the breath that, you're, that you have and the feeling of your ass sitting on the ground, your feet touching something, the pressure of the air against your chest as you breathe, you know, it's these things that you have, that you exist through, that you live with. Um, everything else is a lie, right? Some people, they take hard drugs and they die, and or they feel like they've died, and then they can finally appreciate sitting there and just fucking breathing. You don't need drugs for that, I don't think. I'm not ever going to tell anybody that you need to take psychedelics to achieve that sort of feeling of appreciating breathing. Is it a different experience? Yes. But, um... Appreciating your breath is just a, a thing that is important, you know, and there's an inherent importance to it. However you do it and choose to experience it, I guess, overall is different and unique to every person, right? Um, but... There is something very beautiful about letting go of all of the worries and expectations of stuff that you would have. That's why psychedelics is important for some people. They can lose themselves, sort of, or lose, you know, that worry for a time being. That's why people usually do drugs, is because they are escaping that worry. Um, But it's, it's far more beautiful when you can just be there and not have to worry about the worry, you know? I think that's what a real good goal is, you know? <clears throat> we struggle through a lot of things where we feel insignificant and we... Um, we feel like we're chasing a lot of stuff that uh, sometimes, you know, what is the end goal? And, and are we doing things correctly? And are we valid? And all this other stuff. And at the end of the day is, you know, man, I'm breathing. And I can touch things. And I can feel things. And I can, I can talk to people. And I can, I can... Uh, interact with the world around me, or I could not. I can, um, right? I could be, I could be an eccentric individual and, and, and um, preside over someone's life if I actually choose to. Not that you should, but like, we have so much abilities within us to imagine and to create and to absorb and to interact and to uh, just live that we we lose sight of all the time because we're so trapped in other things where we feel typically insignificant. I just think that's that's crazy, right? That's that's the coolest thing about kids or like you know when you were a kid or whatever you see a kid do like a weird ass thing and you're just like. So why'd you do it? And they're like, well, I had a green crayon. 
and I really wanted to cover this entire thing with the green crayon. And it's like, well, the fuck, man? Like, why? <laughs> it's, the, it's not like they have any... They just wanted to do it, so they do it. And that's beautiful. Imagine just doing something because you fucking want to. Let yourself live in that abandon a little bit sometimes, you know? Like, I try to whenever I can. And I think I do a good job sometimes, but fuck. <sighs> Seeing what other people want to do and what they don't allow themselves to do is just so insane, you know? <laughs> like, uh, I sat there at work one day and I was just fucking... <laughs> you know, one of my guys that I look up to came down and he looked at me and he's just like, look at that guy over there. He just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> and everybody's like, that guy? Yeah, man. Sometimes Aaron just doesn't give a fuck. I don't know. I never thought about that. I hope that I give off that vibe. That's cool. I don't appreciate it enough if I do. But I guess maybe that is something that I have going for myself. I don't know. I guess I'm just willing to present anything that I have going, because why not? It's not like I consider what everybody else is doing to be super valid all the time. They don't have the time to make it valid to me. When they do, I like it. That's what I find incredible, right? Like, when people share things that they're passionate about, immediately you have to become passionate about it too. It's infectious. That's what I like about passion and sharing. That being said, though, um, I think I'm going to officially go to bed. Am I fully sober? No. My brain's definitely still getting that hug from the alcohol. Probably gonna smoke some more weed before I go to sleep. Is that gonna result in the best sleep ever? Probably not. It'll be okay though. Nice thing is, not gonna be hungover. Um, tomorrow I can wake up. I've got goals. I can have coffee, clean some stuff up. I feel alright with that. Um, yeah. Will I upload more? Fuck if I know. I have to feel like this was worthwhile in the first place. Which it likely is to someone, but. Mm -hmm. Part of me's wrecked, man, still. <laughs> Either way. I'm gonna try to take care of my brain, get that sleep shit in. Skirt, bad bottom. Keep it real, guys.